Sugar Ray Falls Apart slash Runaway. I love this song, man. It's simple, but it's so freaking catchy. This is for Mr. Bartender TV. You want to tune flat for this? And, uh, yeah, so you're a half step down. Okay? I'm going to show you uh, what's up here. Here we go. Pretty straightforward, huh? But, prime example, you take a simple guitar part, put a catchy melody, a cool drum hip hop -y hook to it, a little Ricky Ricky, and um, a cool melodic bass line, and you got a hit song, man. So, here's what you want to do. 8th fret on the A string, 10th fret on the D, and 10th fret on the G. You can 3 finger that, or you can bar with your 3rd or 4th, however you want to do that. Now, um, this goes a lot of times. The way I would count it is 64 times. I would count them in groups of 8 times 8. So in other words, strings 5, 4, and 3. That's 8 times. You're going to do that times 8. So 64 times, and that would eliminate that section. And then you're going to continue 8 more times. So, so technically, it's 56 times, but I want you to see it in a certain way subgrouped in your mind. Okay, so here's the next part. Same thing, eight times. Or seven times, actually, the way he does it. And then go 6E, 8A, 8D, and 7G. Eight times on those four strings. Back to the first chord, which was the F. This is a B flat, by the way. So back to the F chord, eight times. Then we're going to do a D, and that's 10E, 12A, 12D, and 11G, four times. And then move that a whole step back to a C chord, 8, 10, 10, 9. Actually, that'll be three times, so we'll have... No, it'll be four times each. One, two, three, four, one, two. This, uh... That note isn't super loud in there. If you want to just play the three strings, that'll, that's cool, too. And then hit that F chord again, um, one time. And then the clean channel guitar comes in, and that's this. That's going to go twice, so let me show you that, based out of F major. 3D, 2G, 1B, go 4, 3, 2, Add your pinky to 3B, and then lift it off and hit it again. That'll be fret 1 on the B. So we have... Then 3D, and open G. 3G. 2G. 3D. And leave that down as you're playing it. So they're like chords ringing through. You don't want to go... So that's the midpoint. Then you go back to the first one you did. And then this changes. So keep first finger on 1B, middle finger 2G, and third finger 3G. You're going to pick that and pick 3G, pull it off to the second. And then pick 3G again. Pick 1B. 3G, 2G, and 3D. So that part goes. Or, 
don't let that first fret B ring through all of it. Keep that one more separate instead of... Although he might be doing that as well there, I'm not sure. Um, so it goes through that whole thing twice and then you're back to the F chord. Okay, so that's most of that song, believe it or not. And, um, you know, little things. When you're playing this F chord, for example, take your index and tuck it underneath the low E just to mute it barely, okay? That way you can hit that E string. You won't hear that compared to these notes. Okay? Sugar Ray, Falls Apart, Run Away. Love this song. Um, what happened to Sugar Ray? Is he still playing? I think he is. If you have questions, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to both my channels. I have a, you know several channels, but they're all music related. But the two that are um, instrument related are you're on one of them. YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 1, and I also have Rocking Guitar Lessons 2. Um, how to's in the style of techniques, every style you can think of. They're interactive, so jump on board, man. Get involved. Tell your buddies, your friends. People in cover bands, I will transcribe, I don't care what it is. It can be on an Egyptian instrument, and I'll put it, if it has a tone, I will get it figured out on guitar for you. Um, so you have everything to gain, man. And we're all in this to get better, even, even us teachers. I've been teaching since 92, and the journey never ends. It ends when you decide, and if you've decided that you've learned all you can learn, then you've really drawn the line in the sand as far as I'm not going to get better. We can always get better, man. Be open-minded with music. There's something, a little bit of heart and everything. Be like a sponge. Soak it all in. My email, rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Website's rockingguitarlessons.com. Um, that's coming soon. Watch for that in 2013. It's going to be a kick booty site, man. I hope to, to see you guys there. So be watching for that. Um, my PayPal email is tbxpunk if you'd like to make a donation to this channel. If you can't, I still love you. Keep coming. There's things you can do that I would much appreciate, man. Just take my videos, put them on your Facebook wall so your buddies can see it. Put it on your friend's Facebook wall and then put it on your enemy's Facebook wall. Just to see what they do. Try it. I'm telling you, try it. Okay? And I also, last thing, I teach on Skype and Google Hangout. All you need is a webcam. Download Skype.com. You probably already have it. It's $50 an hour, $25 for a half an hour. Send me a request. My Skype contact name is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. And we can get started on taking your playing to the next level in a personal way, which is the, the interaction that way is the most effective and fastest. We can work on whatever you want. I mean anything. So um, until next time, I'm Mike Gross, RockinGuitarLessons.com. See you guys later. Peace.